Welcome back everybody. Kevin here from McLean Heating, Cooling and Furnace Cleaning. I'm very privileged to be here today with Simone Constantine. And Simone is our good friend from Consumer Choice Awards and also Renovation Find. And uh, re Renovation Find and Consumer's Choice is a really, really big deal. Uh, what is your position with, uh, with uh, Consumer's Choice? So with Consumer's Choice, I'm the marketing rep for all of Alberta. And I'm very proud to announce that you guys won the Consumer Choice Award for 2018. So congratulations Thank once you. again. Thank Yay. You. And with Renovation Fight, it's a site where uh, anybody who needs a contractor should really go to because they've already been certified, they've already been legally checked, background, everything. And I'm happy that you guys are on that site as well. So yeah. it's a win-win situation. Yeah, awesome. we're really excited. We've been uh, Consumer's Choice winners now for three years in a row, which to us is a huge deal. Absolutely. Uh, it's a third party thing and it's one of those things that makes our entire team really come together and you know without our team it doesn't happen so it's a great thing for so many reasons. Uh, so thanks for joining me for the Dear Heaven Letter of the Day where people ask me questions and I answer them mostly very competently and uh, and this one here is sent in by uh, who there? Keeping My Options Open is who sent this one in so Go ahead and see if you can stump me there. All right, so it says, right. Dear Kevin, I'm planning on replacing my furnace this year, but I don't have room in my budget to add an air conditioner as well. I think I will want to add an air conditioner unit in, down the road. Is there anything I should do or keep in mind when I'm getting my furnace replaced at this time so I know what to do in the future? You know, that's a really, really, really good question um, because a lot of people don't think about that. And when we come in and we do uh, consultations for new furnaces, we give that as an option or at least make sure that, you know, if you're planning on putting air conditioning in the future, it doesn't have to be today that you prepare for things. So one of those things is an air conditioning coil. So your air conditioning is made up of two main components. There's an evaporator coil that gets installed on top of your furnace. So if you're taking your furnace out and replacing it, make sure a nice condensing coil goes into there for the evaporation purposes. Then there's the big piece outside. The big piece outside is what most people see. It's the thing that makes noise out there, and that's called the condenser. One important thing is that if you're doing any landscaping, make sure you're leaving a place for that to go so you don't have a shrub in the way or trees or anything like that. Um, I'll bet you 5% of all the air conditioners we do, we have to pull out a nice bush or anything like that, and, uh, and so avoid that if you can. Um, the other thing on there as well is uh, basically the development of the basement. So just like a furnace, a uh, furnace requires all these different things to have pipes running outside and all that stuff. Well, an air conditioner has pipes and wires that have to run outside from that furnace area to the condenser outside. So if you finish your basement and it's all drywalled in, all of a sudden now there's no room to put that. So it's important to put those things in place also if you're going to finish your basement. And the other thing, surprisingly, is, is financing. Why is financing you know, related to that? It's because a lot of people don't realize that there are very common financing programs for a lot of the better manufacturers. So instead of waiting for that AC, you can normally get an AC built right in to that price, which is an extremely low price. And we always do a deferred payment option as well. So if you're planning on getting it next year, you can actually get it this year and not actually pay for it until next year, which is an option people don't uh, normally know about until uh, you know, a good quality company comes and explains that. So hopefully that helps. Uh, there are definitely those three things to consider uh, that are in your house, and then the extra thing in terms of how you maybe just get air conditioning today instead of waiting. So what's going on this weekend? Well, Home and Garden Show. The Home and Garden Show is going on right now. Uh, we're in Hall E, booth 2437, and there's also another show going on here today, which is like the homemade kind of crafts sort of show, and uh, that's also here at uh, the Northlands Agricom for all the really old people that are watching, and for the young people that are watching, it's the Edmonton Expo Center, and the Edmonton Expo Center is the... Uh, it's, it's the new marketing, Northlands, yeah. that's a dirty word. I said Northlands. Uh, I still say Northlands. I, I said Northlands. And so he was like, old. yeah. There's one of the people that worked here and they're like, I don't think there is a Northlands anymore. Like, okay, all right, sounds good. Feeling a bit old. So listen, thanks for watching. Uh, log into our YouTube channel to see lots of other questions to lots of different items that people are sending us in. There's lots of great tips on there. Visit us online at acclaimedfurnace.com.
www.thinkdigital.com. And we hope to see all of you guys next Friday with some more useful questions and answers. Have and a great day, everybody. I'll just add to that really quickly. That's what makes them the Consumer Choice winners, chosen by consumers. Um, we don't stuff ballots. We don't ask our friends and families. It is strictly a survey done to the consumers. And it's only one winner per category in every city. So congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you very much. And thank, thank you so much oh. for, uh, for being the person that gets to ask any, me that question time, today. Yeah. It's a real pleasure to have you. <laughs> so Simone Constantine from Consumer Choice Awards, thank you again. Thank you.